We're back after a brief hiatus. There was a plot to take over the support site Dog Park by some little green men from Tralfamador, so our services were needed elsewhere. So it goes. We're super happy to be back and to bring you the latest from the greatest organizations in the Naples military community. Coming up first, we've got the movie Corner. What's going on over there, Petty Officer Bamford? Hey, I'm Spaghetti Officer Pasta Bamford, and these- Wait, what? I said I'm Petty Officer Foster Bamford, and these are the movies premiering at the support site Real Times 2 Cinema this week. There are four of them, so buckle up. We're going to do this fast. Friday, March 27th at 4.30 in the afternoon, home premieres. It's PG animated, and it's about an alien named O becoming friends with a girl named Tip. It stars Rihanna and Jim Parsons. Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 43% fresh rating. If the trailer was any indication, it should be a lot of fun to watch. Friday at 8.30, Kingsman The Secret Service premieres. It's rated R and Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 74% fresh rating. It stars Taron Edgerton, Colin Firth, Mark Hamill, Samuel L. Jackson, and Michael Caine. It's about a secret international governmental organization, and I really, really, really want to go see it. Saturday at 7 p.m., The Lazarus Effect premieres. Rated PG-13, it stars Olivia Wilde, she's pretty, Mark Duplass, I don't know him, and Childish Gambino, I mean Donald Glover, I love that guy. This movie is about a group of researchers who discover how to bring things back to life, then it goes horribly awry. Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 14% on the tomato meter, tomato, tomato, monitor, tomato, tomato, tomato meter. Saturday at 8.30, a film that I am super stoked about, Get Hard, rated R, starring Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart. Ferrell plays a clueless investment banker on his way to prison who enlists the help of Kevin Hart's character to get him ready for the experience. Rotten Tomatoes gives it a 36% fresh rating, but it looks hilarious. DL, back to you. Whoa, slow down there, the hair from the children's fable, the tortoise and the hare. April's the month of the military child, and starting the first week on April 5th, MWR has magician-comedian Michael Kent performing at the Support Site Theater at 2 p.m. Should be a ton of fun, and probably a little bit mind-blowing. And on April 11th, there's a J-Fun trip for single sailors to the Chilento Coast. To sign up for this trip, you can stop by the Liberty Center at Capo and ask about it. For more info on either of these, and to find out what else MWR has up their sleeves, that was a magic bun there, because I was talking about a magician a second ago. You can find links and phone numbers right there in the description. Moving on, we've got the USO. Back to Spaghetti Officer Bamford. What do they have in store for us? What did you call me? Petty Officer Bamford? Okay. They've got some amazing stuff for sure. You can spend Easter at the foot of the world's most dangerous volcano. They've got a wine tasting and a lunch trip set up for Easter Sunday, April 5th, at Cantina del Vesuvio. Can you take kids? Yep, they've actually got an Easter egg hunt set up for the kids, so give them a call and check out this amazing tour. If you're looking for something a little bit more excursion-y, though, like maybe a vacation-type thing or a long weekend, you should check this out. You can spend two full days in beautiful Venice and its isles. St. Mark's Square, the gondolas, the glass of Murano, the magical atmosphere of Burano, the perfect ingredients for an unforgettable weekend. Seats are limited, so sign up today. It's going to be baller. Baller? Yeah, baller. You know, like, like when something's a uh, baller. Okay, anyway, to find out more stuff about what the USO has going on, check out the links in the doobly-doo. Don't mind if I doobly-doo. Last week was an interesting one here in Naples. A total solar eclipse? The Pope visiting Naples? Was it a coincidence, or was this the Chief's Mess going to great lengths to ensure the Navy does well after one of its own retires? America sees you coming back. Distinguished guests and sailors gave thanks to Fleet Master Chief Joanne Ortloff during a retirement ceremony honoring her 33 years of naval service at Naval Support Activity Naples, Italy. Over the course of her career, she has seen the gradual change in the policies that have opened more opportunities for women to serve in forward areas ashore and afloat, operate combat aircraft, and advance to the most senior positions in our Navy. What Joanne has accomplished and the impact she's had on the Navy and the lives and careers of her sailors is why you see this, this room full of all these people. And to be honest, I'm sure some are just making sure she does retire. <laughs> You stood a vigilant watch at sea and on shore, always striving to make our Navy more capable and continuously advancing the interest of the most precious asset, sailors. Fleet Master Chief Ortloff's husband was also recognized in the ceremony for his unwavering support, his involvement mentoring sailors, and the positive impact he's had on the community. Even though Fleet may be retiring, the pair will continue to serve sailors. I will always stay involved wherever sailors are, wherever they need. 
But I am going to put my anchor on my door and I am going to hang up my hat. It's time. Okay, help me out, Chiefs. Navy Chief! Navy Pride! Navy Chief! Navy Pride! Navy Chief! Navy Pride! Fleet Master Chief Ortloff retired as the highest ranking female enlisted service member in the United States Navy. Fair winds and following seas, Fleet Master Chief. Petty Officer Emily Williams, Naples, Italy. Dance breakdown!